Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't believe it's Thursday again. <laughs> things were making Thursday. Things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, yeah. Things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, yeah. Welcome to my channel. My name is Joanne, and the channel is To Crochet Curious. Oh boy, it's been a month. Um, so this is the final showing. It's the 30th of March, and so it's the final showing of Things We're Making Thursday for March. This is... Developed a habit of leaving things just out of arm's reach for when I'm filming. Um, this is the Lux Pillow Trio, um, in my case, Duo, from Yarn Inspirations. There were three possible patterns to do this month, and the um, first one, pillow cover number one, was a bobble stitch. Uh, pillow cover number two was a basket weave, and pillow cover number three was kind of a, I don't know how to describe that, a has a slash across it. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the idea is it was to cover some pillow forms. I had three pillows here in the house that could use covering, um, but I only, I, I just didn't get started soon enough because I only joined the group right at the beginning of March and I didn't even really start thinking about the project until Thursday the first Thursday, and so I was just behind to start with. So I just couldn't fit it in. I had too many other things going on. So what I've done is two pillows. And the first one I did, I have shown already, but because it's the last one, and it might be the only one you see, I'll show it again. This is pillow number three, the slash, whatever that stitch is. Um, and... It turned out really nice. I held two yarns together for this. I used Lion Brand's basic um, pink, the pink one, and then I think it's hot pink. I don't have the bands in my container there. My bands are somewhere else. And then, yeah, where are the bands? No idea. Um, they must be out in the garage, I guess. And then this this other multi um, that I don't even know where it came from right now. I have a bunch more of it in my stash. So that was the front. And the back, I used two different yarns. I had, this was um, Red Heart Italian Love Story called Vera or something like that. And it was in Rose and Taupe and um, used pretty much all of it for the back, um, one ball and one ball. And then I sewed on the heart stickers using the one of the threads uh, from the yarn uh, to match. And my granddaughter is loving having this on her bed. So that one is was done. That's pillow cover number two. Oh yeah, and these are worked in two panels. And then you can open it up if you needed to get the pillow out to clean it. Um, okay, now the challenging one. So the other one I did is pillow cover number one. And on last week's video, I let you know just I was running out of yarn and I didn't have more to back it up in the same colors because I used scrap yarn. And boy, I underestimated what I was going to need. This is all I had left. Whoops. This is all I had left when I was done. And um, none of the taupe left, or the tan or whatever that's on the back, none of that left. And this. And I had to uh, modify. So what I did is I did bobbles, but on the top and the bottom, I did um, half double crochets and just put a lot, put, 
Hang on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, just so to make sure I could get to the end and then I still needed to seam up the sides so I just didn't want to run out of yarn. And I don't like bobble stitches. Honestly, I was relieved to stop doing them. <laughs> I've since ordered a latch hook, which might make it a little easier to do bobbles, but I really don't enjoy doing bobbles. Um, so there's that. I maybe should have made the basket we won, but I don't know. It might have taken up more yarn than I had to. So now for the surprise. Okay, so my panels basically just barely met in the back because I had run out of yarn. I couldn't overlap them. So I went to my stash and I found some silk ribbon that I had from Darn Good Yarn and I laced it up, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I had to jazz it up a bit. So this is the back. This is kind of the surprise ending to all of this. And um, these are just loosely tied. I could untie it, get the pillow out if I needed to. But um, Oh, and I also had to take the cover off of the stuffing because of the shape. And that fill in here is weirdly shaped, and it doesn't really fill out the corners well. So I could restuff this pretty, pretty much. But I had to put a dark pillowcase around the fiber fill so that it wouldn't show through because it definitely was showing through with the other pillow cover it had too many uh, light colors in it and it was like shining through so the holes are pretty big on this <clears throat> so I put it on a in a really dark pillowcase that I wasn't using anyway and if I had had dark fabric I would have used just wrapped it in that but I didn't have that so I just used what I had now, oddly shapen, yes, 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 yes. I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is just put it on my favorite chair so that I lean on it for a while and get it to hopefully shape more like a squared off pillow. I don't know. Or I just leave it the way it is and just let it be boho crazy and leave it at that. So this is business on the front side, party on the back. <laughs> uh, yeah that is uh, that's my story I'm sticking to it I feel like I'm missing a string there or something I have loads more of this ribbon it's fun trying to figure out things to do with it because it's all you know not uniform <laughs> so Anything I do with it is just kind of wild, so it's fun. I had a great time doing this. I'm looking forward to seeing what the next pattern is. Um, I, you know, it's not a given that I'll do it every month, but um, it's it could happen. Um, it just depends how many other things are going on and if I have time to do it justice because it is a little bit of, you know, got to be on schedule with this stuff, so... Um, that is my Things We're Making Thursday make for March 2023. And now, once they release the new pattern, we'll announce it. And so I will just tack another video onto the end of this one, talking about what the new pattern is going to be. But I don't have it yet, so stay tuned. And for you, it'll just be a moment. But for me, I just have to wait for them to send me the pattern. So. See you soon. Hi friends, I'm back and I have what the pattern is for April. This is huge. You're going to love this and I really, really hope you will participate with us. Um, I'm sorry, it is early. I have not had any caffeine and I'm trying to put together my video for this Thursday um, to show the finish of March and the beginning of April. So I'm going to be putting two videos together and attempting also to show a picture of the um, of the project that we're going to be doing. Now this is a stretch of my production skills so I hope it turns out okay. <laughs> so 
the big news is I forgot to bring the pattern with me. Ah, hold on. <laughs> All right, I got my pattern. I put some water on for tea, so there's some hope that I'll, like, my brain will kick over soon. Okay, so April's pattern is a wrap, and it's the Greek Goddess Wrap Crochet Pattern by Caitlin's Contagious Creations, and I'm sorry because I don't have a color printer. I just have a black and white one for work, and so um, all I'm, always when I show off the patterns, they're going to be in black and white. That's why I have a hopefully a picture I can show. But look at that, and there is some gorgeous stitches in there. So um, I so okay. Let me tell you details about it. Uh, what you need because I really want you to do this with us. It's skill level is easy plus. So it's not exactly beginner. In fact, you know, I'm kind of a beginner and I had um, to review the special stitches because I didn't never seen the those before. So, but I think it'll be okay. So this is made, the finished size is 61 and a quarter inches long and 25 and a half inches wide. Now I'm a plus size girl, so um, 61 inches is probably borderline for me if that is going to be long enough. But um, I had a particular yarn I wanted to use for this and I just have enough. <laughs> to to make that size so I really hope this is fits me well so it's made with uh, she made her example with two balls of lion brand woolies 1180 yards of DK weight yarn and used a five and a half millimeter hook you would also need which is a size I and you would also need a measuring tape, yarn needle, and scissors. And the special stitches are the front crossed treble crochet, which we just did front crossed stitch in a double crochet on the pillow, the pink pillow that I made. So I, could, I figured that one out. And then six double crochet cluster worked over six stitches. Uh, so that one's interesting, so we'll see. But I think I can figure this all out. All right, so for some period of time, I blathered on about <laughs> this whole thing, and my uh, video had shut off. So here's what's happening. Join us for Things We're Making Thursday for April. You're going to have fun. Um, it only takes like 1,200 yards uh, roughly of a DK weight. You probably have it in your stash. Look around, find something that's not too busy, but has nice colors you like for either spring. Well, for spring would be perfect, right? And join us and we can share our progress together. I, um, I'm looking forward to this one and I hope you will join us. Please do. Okay. I'm going to go try and put my, um, <clears throat> Franken video together of all these pieces <laughs> and see you next on the next video. Bye now.